You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. <sighs> Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello Great to dip you up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if we couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I, I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner. He's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. This should be the last second. I don't know. I don't think it's the last, though. Action campaign. Any trouble? No bass. No trouble at all. It's been a while since I last played the character, so yeah. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. 
Now, the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck, and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. Huh? And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we got to talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny, have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Up to Vincenzo. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look up. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. Vincenzo. Vincenzo. Yeah. Up to this prison, shall we? years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families, and that's why this message is a little different. In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements. Only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope right. in their hearts. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years as congressman of the 27th district. The appalling situation... Uh, I'll see you guys in the prison, all right? ...small, and we could have no finer champion in the governor's mansion than Hank Turnbull. 
He'll bring all his experience to bear on the criminals that have made our streets their uh -oh. playground. Oh my God. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District. Tough on crime and tough on the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme to have such a warrior against Griff stepping back on the field in our time of need. He receives the full backing and endorsement of the Behringer family and Behringer's department store. Behringer's department store and Hank Turnbull leading the way for a brighter future. Hey, fella, come over. You with Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Okay, so that's the, the kitchen. He took it. Oh, what? Well, you think you can just walk through here? This is our place! Hey! Hey! Oh shit. Did not do a mess with me. Shit. Bro, this place creeps the fucking shit out of me. God damn. Oh. Just hope there's no goosebumps. Like literally. That was the worst thing ever. Have like goosebumps. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta grab some crackers. Uh, shit. How long have I been out?
that came from up here! Chief said he was declared dead at the scene. everyone you see the police it's the police where's the shooter i i don't where's the fucking shooter where is he please please no God. This place is ours!
Let's check there. This one? Oh, we have to do this. Bruh, they need to really actually paint their hands. Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. Says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Bradley, too late for that. <laughs> Let's go!